Hello and welcome to Speak American English with Lyman Holton. My name is Lyman Holton. In this lesson, we're going to talk about American English grammar. We're going to talk about am, is, and are. In this one, we're covering positive and question. Now, we've already covered positive and negative, but this is positive and question. Now, what we want to look at is how to begin forming our sentences. I am. Am. He is. She is. It is. Is. Representing one, right? He, she, or it. One. We are. You are. They are more than one, more than one. Now, keep in mind, you can be used as one. If I'm addressing a person directly and I say, you look lovely. Well, I could be talking to two or three different people at the same time. And I could be saying something like, what are you doing? Did you have a nice day? I'm addressing more than one person, but I'm still using you correctly. Or correct? Okay, so that's how you comes in under R. So when we use you, we're going to use R, even if we're talking to one person. How are you? Right? Okay, now let's go over here to the question. We simply reverse everything. That's all we do. Am I? Maybe we should put up a question mark here, huh? It's all reversed from positive to question. Am I? Is he? Is she? Is it? Are we? Are you? Are they? More than one. One. Am. Myself. Right? Positive, negative. Am, is, are. Am, is, are. You means one, you means more than one, you is always used with R. But we and they do mean more than one, okay? Now let's make some example questions with where, what, who, why, and how. Sentences that are questions with am, is, or are, we can use where. Where is your car? Is it in the garage? The next sentence, we look at what in a question. What are you doing? Are you looking for me? Another example question. Who? Who is that man? Who are those people? Who am I supposed to see? Another sentence using why. Why is it? so hot in here. Why are you always late? Why am I doing this? Another sentence we cover how. How old is your brother? How are they getting home? 
How am I going to do this alone? Let's look at the proper way to say a short answer, a short yes or no answer. The proper way isn't just to say no or yes. You can do that, but it's not really the right way to do it. If you want to give a positive response using the word am, yes I am. Yes I am. If it's a negative response, no, I am, I'm not. No, I'm not. And remember, the contractions, they are okay to use in English. Please don't think that it's poor English. It isn't. It's good. It's okay to use contractions. We use them all the time when students write their university papers. They use contractions. Teachers encourage it as well. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. That's for am. Now, let's look at he, she, and it. We have for is. Yes, he is. Yes, she is. Yes, it is. Now, if we want to go with the negative of those, what are we going to do? We're simply going to say no. On the negative for no, no, he's not. Or no, he isn't. The same thing. No, she's not. Or no, she isn't. No, it's not. Or no, it isn't. The same thing. The answers, questions, if we're using the word are, yes, we are. Yes, you are. Yes, they are. Boom, boom, boom. Okay? Short answers to questions with no negative. No, we are not. Contraction. No, we're not. No, you're not. No, they're not. Or we can use no, we aren't, no, you aren't, no, they aren't. The same thing, right? We don't have to use this if we're saying aren't instead. So you have a choice. No, we're not. Or no, we aren't. No, you're not. Or no, you aren't. No, they're not. Or no, no, they aren't. They're the same, okay? Let's look at a few questions that you can come up with Short answers for. Are you ready? Number one. Are you happy? So you'd answer, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. That's it. Number two. Are you hungry? Are you? Are you hungry? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. If I said, are they hungry? The answer would be, yes, they are, or no, they aren't. Number three, is it hot today? So where you are, is it hot today? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. 
it. Are your feet cold? Are your feet cold? They. Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Am I a good teacher? Am I? Am I a good teacher? I don't know. But you could answer, yes, you are, or no, you aren't. That's the end of this lesson for today. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you at our next lesson. Goodbye for now. Thank you.